we've implemented our full authentication flow in our client so we can sign up, sign in, and we're persisting our session in the client and between refreshes as well as page transitions. But one thing that would be nice to have that we had in the first project was a loading bar up at the top which will show when we make page transitions as well as when we make requests, say the request to sign out, for example. So the package we can use is end progress, and we'll use a special version of end progress called next end progress. So we'll head to our custom app page, and up at the top, we'll import a higher order component called with end progress from next end progress. And to grab its styles, we don't need to bring in a style sheet. We can just import end progress styles, and this will be from next and progress slash styles. So this is a more convenient way to wire up end progress than connecting it to our next router. We'll head to the bottom where we're exporting my app. We'll say with end progress, and we'll add a couple of sets of parentheses, one to wrap my app, and then another where we can configure some options. First thing we can configure in the first argument is our delay, which will be in millisecond. So we'll set millisecond delay to 200 milliseconds, a fifth of a second, and this will be the delay before we start seeing the end progress loading bar. We can also pass in a configuration object, which we'll call config options. So we'll create a variable for that. And here we can set the trickle speed, the speed that it takes the loading transition to trickle, so to speak, across the page. So we'll set that to 50. And then to apply our styles, we can say end progress styles. We'll write this as a component right within our container. We can set the color, a, a color prop. And this will be equal to the hex code E34234, a red color. And we have a spinner prop. So we can set this to true if we want to see a loading spinner on the top right hand corner of our page but I'll set it to false, considering that it might interfere with our links. So we'll save, we'll head back, and we'll refresh. And now we can see, you might have seen on that initial load, the loading bar up at the top. And just to make this more apparent, I'm going to go to my network tab and change the connection to slow 3G. So we can see that sometimes when we make a request, for example, the request to sign in, our loading bar should be visible at the top while we're in the state of making the request. So I'll just change this back to online. Well, that's how we'll set up in progress so we can see a loading state.